Hey, what's up, strength entrepreneurs? It's Monday, and here's my Motivation Monday rant for today. Delegate and elevate. That's the key to growing and scaling your business to another level. I came in today, my normal time, I get in the gym about 7.45 or so. Um, I had a crew out at another job site, working, training a team. I had a crew in the gym, working, training the team. On Mondays I come in and I do, I get caught up from the weekend. I do all of our schedule planning, my schedule planning and like our meeting plannings for the week. I interact with, uh, you know, emails and clients that have messaged me online and I do some creative work. So from usually about eight to 11, I, you know, don't do anything other than sit in my office and work. Today I had to put together my schedule as I'm taking a little family trip this weekend to go down the shore. That's what we say here in New Jersey, we go down the shore, all right, here in Jersey. And uh, I'm going to the beach with my family for a couple days. And I was thinking about, you know, over the years and how things have, you know, grown at Varsity House. And when I first started, when I started my uh, first gym in the, you know, the abandoned, you know, uh, loading dock, basically, you know, an oversized two-car garage, um, you know, I was all by myself. So anytime I took time off, I didn't get paid. I didn't have members at that time. Everything was by session. And, and you know, if I took a week's vacation, there was zero dollars for the week. You know, and I remember the conversation I was having with Dan, my partner, when we first got together and he was like, hey man, just think about it. Like now, now if you go away, like I'll be there to pick up slack. And I was like, holy shit. I was like, that's amazing. You know, cause the first three years I was in business by myself, I maybe took a total of 10 days off, uh, you know, just because I had clients, you know, I was hungry for money. I'm trying to grow the business. And when I was away, there was zero cash. So delegating work, to improve and grow your business is really the key and the, to longevity, longevity and long-term success. In the fitness industry, like most gym owners, you're wearing every hat, you know, head of programming, head coach, head of sales, head of marketing, head of business management, you name it, you're doing it all, right? And like most gym owners, at some point you get frustrated with what we like to call the coach owner paradox and that's the inverse proportional relationship to the amount of business the company is doing versus the amount of time you can spend working on the business they're inversely proportional meaning that the busier you get the busier the business gets the less time you have to work on it right as the coach owner so you have to delegate you have to hire people in order to grow to another level now, if, if you're okay just being the guy and you don't want to grow and you just want to have a couple clients and you're willing to keep it small, that's fine. But like a lot of gym owners, you know, there's not enough revenue to just work solo. And then, so you, if you own a brick and mortar gym, you're going to have to hire people. There's bills to pay. You know, there's, there's either a mortgage or rent. There's all sorts of bills that have to be paid every month and you want to grow and you want to make a certain amount of money. So... Hiring people is key. So that's allowed us to, you know, expand into areas that we never would have. It's also allowed us to improve the quality of work. Most people think that scaling a business and growing a business means that your quality goes down. But here's how it's not the case at Varsity House and that most of the people that we work with. Because we hire good people that are passionate about certain things. And when you put somebody in charge of something that they're passionate about, they're going to do that with 110% of their effort, right? As opposed to you as the gym owner putting 30 or 40% into five or six different things, right? It's just impossible to do those things really, really great. So wouldn't it make sense if you train somebody up to like, let's just call it an admin to do your scheduling, your billing, your filing, all your onboarding clients, and all that BS stuff that none of us like to do anyway. And they're gonna be awesome at it, and they're gonna do a great job, and they're gonna deliver A-plus customer service. 
instead of me, I know this is, I'm speaking for myself, instead of me staring over your shoulder while you're talking to me because I'm thinking about a group I coming in that's coming in the train or an email I have to write or, so, uh, or something like that, something that's in my eyes higher up the ladder of need, don't be that guy. Hire out, make somebody in charge of something. Look at Coach Mike who works for us. He's in charge of programming. He loves it. He does a phenomenal job with our athlete programming. I did all the programming for years. I, I taught Mike how I did it, and Mike's taking it to another level. Why? Because that's what he's in. That's that's his main role is co is developing the programming for the for the company and coaching the other coaches. Those are the, his two main duties, right? And just being an awesome dude, right? So super important, Adam operations manager he's taken a whole pile of things that I used to do and now he does those why because I was starting to slip a little bit I yes I admit it I slipped just like everybody else I had higher level things that I was working on so the little day-to-day -day minutiae at the front desk and keeping track of KPIs and sales at the front desk was starting to kind of be waned Adam took it over now it's locked down tight we just had our absolute best quarter ever at the front desk we're approaching 25,000 in sales at the front desk. That's just smoothies, t-shirts, and supplements. So not a, not, a, not a bad deal, okay? So again, a great example of delegating work to elevate to another level. Here's some things to think about when you delegate work or you wanna hire somebody. One, start super small. Start with an admin. Start with day-to-day -day things that are easy to offload. It's easy to find somebody who's good at scheduling, filing, you know, bookkeeping, than it is to hire uh, an A-plus coach. It could take years to develop and hire a world-class coach. There are a lot of really good office managers and admins out there for you to find, and that will alleviate a shit ton of work and stress from your plate. Two, hire smart. Make sure you do your due diligence. Don't hire shotgun because you're desperate. Hire the right person for the right seat. Don't just throw somebody in there. Don't just hire somebody from the gym or a friend. Hire the right person. Do your homework, okay? Number three, make sure, okay? Number three, make sure that everyone knows their expectations. Set up clear and distinct duties, roles, responsibilities, right? Have 30, 60, 90 day checkups. Make sure they know exactly what they're getting into and and you and you're not standing around saying, what the hell are they doing all day, right? So you know exactly what's going on. We do vision traction organizers for every employee every quarter so that they have something that they're go working on. We have a round table, everybody makes their own, then I go around the room and check them, and then that allows us to kind of like, you know, everybody has their own say, what they think they should be doing, and I tell them what they, you know, what I think they should be doing, and we kind of all meet in the middle. It's a great way to keep people on track and focused, okay? Number four, offload sales last. Offload the big picture important clients, the big picture sales items, and the creative stuff last. As the entrepreneur, you're probably the one that has most of the big ideas that was the good salesman or has learned to be the good salesman over the years of training. And that's also directly tied to revenue, right? So I, I know as the gym owner, that was one of the last things that I was afraid to give up. So those are just a couple of quick, simple things that you can do to, to offload and delegate work to another person. Start with an admin, then work on giving duties, roles, and responsibilities to your higher level coaches and things like that. Create your advisory board team, right? And watch your business grow, grow, grow. At the end of the day, strength entrepreneurs, as, as the owner, leader, CEO, head entrepreneur, it is totally, 100%, up to you and you only to make sure that you lead your team just like you would lead one of your clients to greatness. You want to be their mentor, you want to inspire them, and you want to constantly give them goals to hit, and you have to lead the way. Nobody else. Nobody's going to do it for you. That's my rant for today, guys. Happy Monday.